Hello, everyone. Uh, welcome to our talk. So we are at New Wei Ming Law Group. Today, we are going to discuss some of the most frequently asked questions for the applicants of uh, EB1 and NIW. And uh, for these questions, well, we assume that the applicants are from any nation in the world other than India and China. Well, we receive these questions frequently again and again. Uh, sometimes, you know, there are updates uh, from the government. So we are recording this video to answer those frequently asked questions. So, Dan, you know, one of the most frequently asked questions I see is how long it will take for me to receive my green card if I start now or pretty soon. So what do you think? Mm -hmm. The answer to this question depends on the Department of State Visa Bulletin, which is updated each month. Understand that we deal with applicants from all over the world. South America, Africa, the Middle East, Europe, all parts of Asia, Oceania, uh, and many other parts. The answer also varies on a case-by-case -case basis. We are providing interested clients with this update as of July 2023. For employment-based green card applications, there are two major steps to keep in mind. I-140 and I-485. If you live outside the United States, you can go through consular processing for the immigration visa instead of filing I-485. If you apply through NIW, you will need to wait about 15 months. Then after filing I-485, it may take six months or longer for you to receive a green card. From the start to submission of your NIW application, it may take more than two months. Shorter times are also possible if there's no delay on your side. A number of applicants that we have want to expedite the process more quickly. We can accommodate that and complete the petition very quickly. So overall, it could take as much as when you consider the entire process, several years from the start of your application to receiving your green card if things go smoothly. If you apply for a green card through employer-sponsored PERM, it can take two to three years. If you apply through EB1A, namely Alien of Extraordinary Ability, EB1B, Outstanding Researcher, or EB1C, Multinational Executive, you may either file I-485 concurrent with I-140 and only need to have a short waiting period. You may receive your green card within one year. So indeed, yeah, we have clients who file NIW, National Interest Waiver, and EB1. And uh, for those basic terms, like what is NIW, what is EB1, what is term, what is priority date, what is the cutoff date, can you explain more what is I-140 and I-485? Well, you can check our other videos, or you can search the UICI's website. But as Dan mentioned, we have clients from all over the world. Specifically, I mean, Dan mentioned the geographic regions. And uh, country-wise, we have clients, for example, from Brazil, well, from France, from Japan, from Korea, from Turkey, from Egypt, from Nepal, from Thailand, you know, uh, all over the world. And, uh, well, one thing in common, I mean, many of those applicants, they have families. Of course, they want to stay together with their family. And one other question, how long it may take for me to get my green card? If I apply green card, can I also bring my spouse and children? And uh, when will they receive their green cards? Yes, uh, is, is the short answer to that question. For the I-140 petition, either NIW or EB-1 is for individuals. Later, you and your family members can all apply for I-485 based on your I-140 petition to attain the green cards. If you have a fiancé, as long as you get married before receiving your green card, that person can apply for the green card as your family member and your derivative beneficiary. Okay, thank you, Dan. So yeah, that reminds me. So one other uh, note I would like to add that here we are discussing like employment-based green cards. Well, if you are applying family-based green card, of course, we can also do that. The waiting time varies. It depends on the family relationship and whether your qualifying relative in the United States is a U.S. citizen or a permanent resident. 
and whether you are married, well, what's your age, etc. So, uh, well, we can record a separate video for family-based application, or you can email us to get more information. Overall, well, our law firm, New Women Law Group, we obtained thousands of approvals for both employment-based applications and family-based applications. So we have these cards like how long it will take and how can I bring my family members. The next question naturally people often ask is, okay, then how much it will cost me to get my green card? So what do you think? The usage charge is $700 for I-140 petitions and $1,225 per adult for I-485. The I-485 fee for each child under 14 is $750. If your child is born in the United States, then of course the child does not need to apply. For NIW or EB-1 applications of researchers, we usually charge several thousand dollars in two installments. The initial payment is made at the start of the application, and the second installment payment is made when the application is filed. If the application is denied by the uses, we can work with you to prepare and submit a new application with no additional legal fee until the case is approved. For I-45 or consular processing, we provide sample documents and instructions with no additional fee. If you want us to prepare and submit the application, we will charge a small fee based on how many members there are in your family. Great. Thank you, Dan. Yeah. So, uh, as Dan just mentioned, usually for employment-based green card application, there are two major steps, I-140. The second one is I-485. So the second step is mostly just the paperwork. The first step, I-140, is most critical. Well, some will ask, why don't you provide a, a, well exact amount on how much your law firm charge for the legal fee? Well, that is because things change every month, right? There's inflation and other matters. And also, more importantly, each person's background is different. So just like if you ask the doctor, well, how much it will cost to treat like a high blood pressure? I mean, usually, right, the doctor cannot give you a fixed amount. Well, you make the decision not just based on how much it will cost. Well, you make the decision more based on, well, the outcome the reputation, the expertise. And uh, I must uh, add that the USCIS, the government, has not been increasing their fee for quite some time. The government may increase their fee in the near future. Well, if you want to grasp the opportunity, you can consider, prepare, and file your application sooner than later. So after asking these critical questions, there's one other important question. Based on my background, am I qualified for NIW? Am I qualified for EB-1? What do you think is the likelihood for approval of my application? We receive inquiries from many, many potential clients on a daily, weekly basis. We provide free evaluations for all of them and for anyone making inquiries. Submit an inquiry with your basic information and please include your resume and Google Scholar profile to info at nwmlaw.com. Yeah, as Dan just mentioned, uh, we need to evaluate based on your background. So today we are going to discuss five questions total. Well, we already discussed four of them. So finally, the last but not least, why should I choose New Wei Ming Lao Group for my green card needs? Well, what is special about the law form? Yes, as my colleague, Dr. Tsai, mentioned, you choose a doctor or any professional based on their experience, their track record, and ability to address uh, the issues or concerns or services you need. We have years of experience helping petitioners receive their green cards and accommodating their, their families thereafter. Our expertise, expertly trained lawyers, PhDs, and other graduate level experts is unparalleled. Take a moment to check out the profile of our ex exceptional team at www.nwmlaw.com. As you can see, well, we have the expertise, we have the track record, we have the education, personal experience, thousands of successful cases, and uh, top quality professional background. We are here ready to answer your other questions. Just send us an email 
with your background. Thank you.